Okay, you're probably thinking of upgrading your graphics card because it definitely needs an upgrade now. And you're looking at possibly a used RTX 3080, you know, two generations old flagship. That's about $360 at eBay. However, you know what's also around that price? AMD's RX 9060 XT 16GB, the latest budget king. So is that card a viable option for you? Yeah, that's what I want to know, bro. Should I go for the 3080 or the RX 9060 XT? Well, how about if we just test things first and see how it plays out? Well, you gotta let me know, bro before the RX 9060 XTs dry out. I've got a good feeling about this card. We're gonna run both of these cards and a lot of games, single player games, competitive games, and multiplayer games, 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. And let's find out which card is the best card for you. And let's start with Cyberpunk 2077. This is 1080p Ultra Boys and boom, 12% better for the RTX 3080. It's better, obviously it's an old flagship. However, you're looking at significant difference in power consumption as well. You've got 375 watts with a 3080 and the RX 9060 XT is only half the DAP or maybe even less than half in terms of power consumption. Let's go 1440p with upscaling. And here we are boys, the 3080 is still better, right? 9% better, 12% on the lows, a little bit better and you're trading it with power efficiency. Let's go for another game, Oblivion Remastered. I game which has a lot of stutters yes a lot of stutters unreal engine 5 boys and in here we have the rtx 3080 is actually slower compared to the rx 9060 xt 16 gigabyte however there's um yeah it's it's pretty close but it's still slower compared to the rx 9060 xt 16 gigabyte at 1440p this is where the the wider bus width of the 3080 now kicks in right so even though the rx 9060 xt has 16 gigabyte it only has one to eight bit bus whereas the 3080 has a wider bus and therefore we're getting slightly higher average FPS and lows with our 3080. All right, let's move on to the next game. Everyone's favorite Stellar Blade. At 1080p, very high settings. The 3080 unexpectedly wins on this one. It's not even a contest, boys. 54% better compared to the RX 9060 XT, 16 gigabytes. Let's go up to 1440p and at 1440p and we have upscalers here, DLSS and FSR 4 for the RX 9060 XT and it's the same thing it's the same thing the power consumption is the same thing too so hey 140 fps against 93 fps they're both playable but you obviously will be have a better experience with the 3080 on this one okay let's move on to our competitive games because this is where frame rates actually matter and our first game is everyone's favorite warzone and boom look at that one the rx 9060 xt 16 gigabyte is just winning here for the first time we have a game wherein it wins oh yeah that's what i'm talking about we're winning we're winning and when we're on the firing benchmarks it even takes the lead higher 14 percent better compared to the 3080 when we go to 1440p oh once again the bus width of the 3080 now kicks in right it's 11 percent better in the running benchmark although the lows do suffer when we go to the firing benchmark there you go right the 3080 is now better compared to the rx 9060 xt 16 gigabyte at 1440p with upscalers. And boys, before we proceed, if you'd like to see more of our RX 9060 XT testings, I'll be comparing this against our previous generation entry-level cards. So if you like to see that, subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's move on. And our next game is Delta Force, another fast-paced shooter game. And here we have the RX 9060 XT and the RTX 3080. And boom, the 3080 is 9% better, right? 3% better in the lows, but 9% better than 1080p. Let's go to the firing benchmark and boom, it's still slightly better compared to the 9060 XT. Although it is using 200 watts more than the 9060 XT. Let's go 1440p with upskillers. Boom, 33% better compared to the RX 9060 XT. Much better their lows as well firing benchmark boom 28 percent better and slightly better on the lows but the 0.1 percent lows do suffer a little bit in there but overall the rx rtx 3080 is still the winner here let's move on to pubg on our running benchmark the rtx 3080 at 1080p is 21 percent better 12 percent better on the lows on our firing benchmark which is where things matter a lot boom 27 percent better fps compared to the rx 9060 they, i mean they do have really high fps in here so 
showed about 350 and 280. It sounds that the gap is big, but at those frame rates, boys, you're good. You can go either way with these guys. Let's go 1440p. Boom, 40% better compared to the RX 9060 XT 16 gigabyte. And on our firing benchmark, once again, 40% better compared to the RX 9060 XT 16 gigabyte. And it's the same thing. There's a 200 watts difference here. All right, let's move on to our hero shooters. Yes, I know we are on a rampage here with the 3080, but hey, we're comparing a previous generation flagship against an entry level budget card from AMD. The latest generation entry level card. And at Apex Legends, this one's pretty close, right? It's pretty close at 1080p. You can go either way with this one because you'll be reaching that maximum FPS. In terms of the static benchmark, like I said, they're mostly the same, right? Let's go 1440p. And this is where we would see the big, bigger difference between both of these cards. RTX 3080 is um, showing its dominance here with a wider bus width compared to the RX 9060 XT. On our static scenes, you do notice that the lows do favor the RX 9060 XT. The average FPS do go to the RTX 30 80 that, that's because there's not much going on in here all right let's move on to our next game marvel rivals at 1080p and our rtx 3080 is still winning here 10 percent slightly a bit lower right 10 percent better average fps and about four percent on the lows compared to our rx 9060 xd although what i'm trying to say in here that both of these guys are actually getting really high frame rates right 190 plus fps with the rtx 3080 and about like 180 plus with the rx 9060 XT. They, you probably wouldn't notice that 10 fps difference here because it's really huge already when we go to 1440p however this is where you would see the bigger difference right 28 percent average fps in favor to the rtx 3080 compared to the rx 9060 xt we do have upscalers here fsr4 on the 9060 xt and dlsis on the rtx 3080 so in here you will be um much better with the rtx 3080 if you're playing 1440p okay let's move on to our pve games and first up is Hell Divers 2 and at 1080p Gatling benchmark the RTX 3080 is slightly better compared to the 9060 XT at about 12% better. On the Stratagem benchmark it's more or less the same right 10% or 11% better compared to the RX 9060 XT. Let's see how this one goes at, at 1440p and boom bigger lead once again right 30% better our 30 series flagship is 30% better compared to the RX 9060 XT and, and on Stratagem benchmark it just brings it down to about like 23% Beta, which is still a sizable lead compared to 1960 XP. Let's move on to Path of XL2 and this game really loves Nvidia cards and it shows here right at 1080p look at the big difference there boys right we do we are using upscale uh we, do, we are using dlss and fsr here for anti-aliasing however we're not put that we're not using any upscaling here so it's still native although we do use the fsr and the dlss as just anti-aliasing here and it's just a huge difference there boys 200 fps about 179 average fps right 170 average fps compared to let's than 100 average fps that's about like 140 fps compared to about like 75 FPS, so that's a pretty huge lead here, right? Pretty noticeable. At 1080p, that's about 91% beta. The RTX 3080 is just dominating here, and that's because Battle of XL2 really favors NVIDIA cards. When we go to 1440p, this is still with DLSS and FSR, but we are, we're not putting any upscaling here. It's just native, those resolutions, and it's still the same. We're getting 90, 90 plus percent beta. The RTX 3080 is just 90% better compared to the RX 9060 XT. Now, I previously re-raced this with um, AMD. I've submitted some bug reports and we're still getting not so good uh, performance with our AMD cards and this game. Okay, let's go to 4K. 4K boys, and this is Cyberpunk 2077 4K with upscalers, FSR and DLSS. FSR for the AMD card and DLSS for the RTX 3080, and the 3080 is still better here. Yeah, it looks like, you know, 14% better. The FPS is low though for both cards, and this is because we're running ultra uh, settings here. About high 40s for the 3080 and about low 40s for the uh, 9060 XT. At Oblivion, remastered, this is where the 3080's bus width 
just it's just kicking harder compared to the 9060 XT. 45% bitter and on um, Stellar Blade, it's the same thing, right? The RTX 3080 is just hitting hard here. Continues to dominate over the RX 9060 XT. Look at the lows, boys. 172% bitter compared to a 9060 XT, right? 68, 1% lows compared to 25, 1% lows. That's a big difference there. For Helldivers 2, it's about 38%. It's, the 3080 is still bitter, right? Right, 3080 is still bitter there. Even on our stratagem benchmark, that's about like 30% bitter compared to the 9060 XT. And lastly, we have PUBG. Uh, PUBG is the only competitive game that we use um, in our 4K benchmark because it's more practical to use this resolution for this game. As I've said before, this is more about visibility and situational awareness. And in PUBG, that's very uh, useful if you want to be, play competitive in this game. 45% bitter for our 3080 compared to the 9060 XT and on our firing benchmark well our mortar benchmark we are getting really high fps with a 3080 managed to get like about 160 plus well we're only getting about 100 plus on our 9060 xd that's about 55 percent better so if you look at that one overall at 1080p when we compare our rtx 3080 against the rx 9060 xd 16 gigabyte it's about 15 percent better in the average fps 12 percent better on the lows and about 18 percent better on the 0.1 percent lows when we go up to 1440p the 3080 in terms of average fps is 29 percent better in terms of one percent lows we've got like 25 percent and about like 30 percent on a 0.1 percent lows at 4k the sleeve even stretches itself so average fps is now 43 percent better and about like 46 percent better on the lows so it's a very noticeable difference between both of these cards because you're comparing a flagship although it is like two generations old but it's still a flagship compared to the latest the entry level budget king so basically i should have been better getting the 3080 instead of the rx 9060 xt is that what you're saying well um not quite not quite what do you mean not quite it was pretty obvious here's the thing right so if you have an rtx 3080 currently you're good you're okay if you're thinking of getting a used rtx 3080 the thing that you have to take note boys is that this card was used heavily in the mining boom where you remember those shortages there was a lot of 3080s that were used for mining and these cards are usually pretty hot you can see that it's using about 370 watts of gpu power and it's usually hot there were a lot of cards back then that had uh, memory temperatures are high and even the gpu temperature is high if you do see some of these ones in the used market chances are unless if that is used by a gamer most of those cards will probably have gone through the mining era and that means they may not live long enough or there is a tendency that they might get damaged because you don't have warranty it's it's already like what almost a five-year-old card because that's what september 2020 when it first was announced and came out released so yeah it's going to be a five-year-old card compared to a newer card so if you're deciding between a used 3080 and the rx 9060 xt yes there is a sizable difference between the two however if you're only playing 1080p a more practical choice would be to go for the rx 9060 xt if you're looking at warranty and if you require more vram say for example you're doing ai rendering which you can do you need that vram for your stable diffusion all of that and i think amd has that like a muse as well so rx 9060 xt yes it is slower than the 3080 however it may be a practical choice for you but what do you think 